Wonderful talent, and he was from Omaha. And it's also when he and I are, are, are part of the same. Uh, we went to the same Omaha Jesuit High School. And uh, side scripts came. We didn't know who Alexander was at the time, but we knew who Matthew Broderick was. And my friend that uh, I was in theater with at the time came down the hallway and was like, you know, here, "Matthew Broderick's coming down to film a movie, and we get to audition for it." And I went in, and um, and I got the job. And it was in like three weeks of finding out about it that I was sitting next to Matthew Broderick, and I was just 17. And so it was a very strange experience. And I think a lot of that is because I didn't know how important what I was doing was. You know, I mean, I was really naive. Uh, and cre I can't tell you how naive I was. I really didn't know. And um, and then uh, that became. And then I went to school, came here, uh, and. Um, there actually, I went to New York to shoot the, the ending again of that. But I, uh, the movie came out in the spring of '99, which was my freshman the spring of my freshman year, and um, and then I came out. To, I went out to LA for the premiere. Uh, another story that may be boring to you, but it's very funny. It, re it reflects on me how naive I was. There are two paths to go to when there's a premiere for a movie. There's the red carpet, and there's the the way that everybody else walks to go in to just sit down. And um, you know, I was with my parents. And I went up, and we got our tickets, and we all walked around the other side. And uh, somebody like came, like uh, a publicity person came up to me and was like, "All right, you, can, you go down the red carpet." You know, I was just like, oh, "You know what is happening?" And um, you know, for me, I'm very thankful that one, I really loved my experience here that I've been having my freshman year. Two, that I knew I really wanted to um, uh, finish my education. And, uh, and actually have a college life. But three that I was really nervous, you know? I was really unprepared for everything at that time. And, uh, and I'm really, I cannot tell you how glad I am that I finished my education here. You know, then I moved out to LA in uh, the fall of 2002. I traveled in the summertime. If you can travel, I would travel. Uh, I went to Europe for a little while. And, you know, which is just like these little things are just reminders, like to just live your life too. You know, live a life. Don't get too consumed with this idea that I'm missing everything. You know, if I don't do this right now, uh, all of these things pay you back. Uh, and so I traveled, and then I and then I went out down. there, and I had this woman who was my manager. And now she was an agent, and I called her up, and uh, and she was an agent now, and and at the risk of going too much into the, the nitty gritty of how everything works, Agent, agencies work differently than managers predominantly because agencies are larger firms. They deal on a larger scale with more personally, but they, they specialize. Like one agent deals specifically with the 20th century box, one deals with Paramount, one deals with these types of things. They all have these individual relationships. And uh, what that means though is, is that they all work for you, so it has to be unanimous for you to come into the agency. And I was like this kid who had done this movie a long time ago and had been going to school, and now knew how nervous he was, and what he was actually trying to do, rather than this thing happening in front of him that he didn't think anything about. And I guarantee you my first two auditions were just terrible. And she got bad feedback, and she, and she, uh, and she didn't call me that. Um, and then all of a sudden I was left without representation when I thought that it was something I had. 
And then again, a serendipitous moment where a manager had seen me in election and he was like, he was a casting director, but now he was trying to build his management firm and I got a call from him and he's my manager today. So I feel like I've learned certain things, but that I, I continue to discover that there's so much that I don't know and it comes, it's on me to keep improving. Um, and and so, you know, you'll, you need to leave here and keep studying for a class. Phyllis told me that I needed to take a technique class. It was the first thing she said when I got out there, and I did for three years. It was the greatest thing I ever did. Um, you know, I these are things that you know your faith is something that should be very important to you, but it, you also have to understand that you have to challenge yourself. You know, get specific about those things and the way you feel about it. Get specific about your sexuality and how you feel about those things. And that may sound like kind of seedy to talk about, but it's the way you push the boundaries inside yourself so that you that you find it is okay for you to take on characters that you may not feel very comfortable embodying comfortable with. But I would say that the more I challenged myself and the way I thought about the things and the life that I was born into, the more I learned and the better actor I am. So, um, you know, I'm very thankful for this education, for uh, the, the outward reaching, the social justice, the idea that you look out at the world and engage with it in that way. So I hope that's not boring to you. That's for me, that's something that's uh, really valuable and that I, I feel like I've learned over the last decade, you know, in, in, um, in sort of going out to a city where I met lots of different kinds of people. And, uh, and traveled over the world a little bit too, and met people there. What kind of questions do you have for one of you? Okay, he's a little older, but he's, he went through the same program that you guys are going through. What kind of questions do you have for him? Yes, ma'am. How do you feel Marquette specifically um, helped you prepare for the professional world? It's a good question. Um, I, I sort of touched on it a little bit earlier in the sense that I feel like having a well-rounded liberal arts education where you, where you grow in a really, um, you know, a really impressionable time in your life, 18 to 22, where you're kind of really engaging in the world in, in a larger way, um, to be surrounded by lots of different kinds of people. You'll, I'm sure politically on campus you have lots of different types of people. I'm sure, um, you know, different stuff, different, you know, you have business administration, you have history, you have psychology, you have theology, you have all of these things. So I think the more well-rounded you can get in, in being in conversation with uh, very multi-disciplined kind of conversation, the better. Right. Nerdy, but like, just off, just like, you know, nerdy was like, he's kind of smart, you know, and like, you know, kind of the sensitive, I don't know, like the romantic -y guy. And then, um, and then I got, you know, and then I got fired up. And it was, you know, they wanted me to be the romantic lead, but they were like, dude, you're a football player, you know? So, like, I hit the gym, you know what I mean? Like, I hit the gym because I had to hit the gym. And, uh, you know, that became, for me, actually, a way of stepping into a role that, personally, like, it's not one that I feel the most comfortable with. You know, I, I actually feel a bit more like that guy I was talking about before, but like, um, you, you know, you are a fit, like, I just see you sitting there, you know, you're, we are not fit, well, get fit, you know what I mean? You've got a deep voice, you know what I mean? You're, you, you know, you are a black skinned man, you know, I mean, like, you are going to play roles that are going to be that, you know? Like, you know, you see what, what those, mo what most movies and television roles are, you know, they're, that's, for you, you're going to have to see that as an opportunity of, okay, you know, you're going to get opportunities to break out of the stereotype, but but you're going to have to embrace that, you know, you're, you're going to be a football player, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming out, guys, I appreciate it. It's, fun. it's really, it's really an honor, you know, to be here, to be given an opportunity to speak, you know, uh, it's fun to get to talk about, especially with a bunch of people who, I think it's a little bit, you know, get to talk about where I've been, so thank you.